When you're done watching this video, I guarantee that not only will you be able to set your own personal perfect sensitivities in Apex Legends Mobile, you will also learn the skill of how to do it so you can do the same trick for other games. There's no point copying someone else's sensitivities because A, each device has different response times and B, someone else's playstyle and reflexes might not be like yours. So yeah, make your own. Here's how. First and most important thing to know and remember, it does doesn't matter how much time you spend in the firing range setting everything up today, you will never get the perfect sensitivity right here, right now. It takes time and lots of future adjustments to really settle in with your adjustments, especially when you get into real fights. The key is to get it to a comfortable point and go from there. Now that's out of the way, let's get cracking. Let's go over the different options in the sensitivity tab first. Overall sensitivity scale. This slider adjusts your entire sensitivity in one swipe. Difficult to fine-tune with, so we'll avoid this one. Vertical sensitivity scale. This one adjusts your vertical sensitivity only. In basic terms, the speed of how fast you look up and down whenever you swipe. Basically, you can have a super low horizontal sensitivity, but have a super high vertical sensitivity at the same time. Super advanced stuff, so we'll leave this one out as well. Sensitivity acceleration. This decides what happens when you swipe your finger a certain way. Speed act is speed acceleration. This decides how much you turn based on how fast you swipe your finger. Fixed speed. This one completely turns off speed acceleration, meaning it doesn't matter how fast you swipe your finger, you'll always turn the same amount. Overall sensitivity presets. These are basically sensitivity settings that the game will set for you based on which one you choose. Ignore. Linked sensitivity adjustment. This locks the standard turning sensitivity with the sensitivity when you aim down sight. Turn it off so we can fine tune more. Aiming sensitivity is when you look around and not firing your weapon. As soon as you shoot, this shooting sensitivity kicks in. For example, you can have a high looking around sensitivity, but as soon as you start shooting, this sensitivity kicks in and it will slow your turns down. There's actually no right or wrong with this one. It's all down to personal preference on how you want the sensitivity to react with your finger swipes. Then scroll down and you'll see these options. Free camera focus is for this eyeball button. This allows you to look around without turning your character model at all. And this slider sets how fast you turn whenever you're using this eyeball button. And these two shows or hides the eyeball button in FPP or TPP game modes. Ordnance sensitivity kicks in as soon as you bring out and hold an ordnance like a grenade. And legend throwing ability sensitivity works exactly the same as ordnance, but for abilities where you have to throw things like caustic gas canisters. All right, enough with the theory, time for some practical. Before that though, see this button over here? Click it. This is the quick access window to all the sensitivity options. And this button subscribes you to my channel and this bell button notifies you immediately whenever I drop a banger video like this one. Freaking click it now. Thank you. First one up, general movement. Nothing special, just run around and navigate your way through corners as if you're chasing or trying to get away from someone. Do some sharp turns, do 180, jump slide, and do loads of different combos. What you want to do though is aim to go somewhere specific so you have a target to work towards. For example, run down here and do a sharp left. Try and have the turn end dead straight so you can run straight after you turn. As you can see here though, I turned a little too much, so adjust using this FPP without ADS slider. Now, do 180 turns and adjust accordingly. Rinse repeat with different combos like jumping, climbing, etc, etc. Like I said though, it's very important to have a target destination so you can adjust your sensitivities to get there smoothly. Next, we're about to shoot this dummy. There are a few things that we're gonna work with here though. Tracing without shooting or aiming. Aiming downside, tracing without shooting. Tracing while shooting, hip fire. And tracing while shooting, a ADS. Tracing without shooting or aiming. To start with, we're just gonna move around without shooting and try to keep the standing dummy in the middle of the crosshair at all times. You wanna stand around 5 to 10 meters away? You know, the typical range for hip fire gunfights. Adjust the sensitivity up or down depending on your tracking using this FPP without ADS aiming slider. Then do the same thing again, but this time start shooting the dummy. Adjust the sensitivity using this FPP without ADS shooting slider. Next, 
Next, walk up to this control panel and bring out these running dummies. Get close to the dummies and start the whole process all over again. Trace, no shoot, then start shooting. The perfect scenario is when you start shooting, you destroy the dummy before you have to reload, also known as one clipping. It is quite hard to do, but just get close to doing it. And that's hip fire done. Now let's move on to ADS. You will basically do the same process all over again, but this time you stand further and you will aim down sight. Let's start off without using any scopes. So just the iron sight. So again, move around and lock onto the standing dummy. Adjust the sensitivity using this iron sight's aiming slider until you can comfortably lock on the dummy. Then start shooting and adjust using this iron sight's shooting slider and move on. Next, summon the moving dummies. Trace and don't shoot, just trace. Adjust the sensitivities using the aiming slider then move on. From here, start shooting the moving dummies. Again, try to one clip them as best as you can. Adjust using this shooting slider. Repeat the process for all the scopes and don't be afraid to also try different distances. It's actually not a hard process, it's just time consuming. But put in the work, reap the rewards. Shotguns and snipers are a little bit more different. I'll cover those in a different video. After this, head into TDM and practice some real fights in there. But before you do that, watch this insane video that helped me become pro in just two days. Oh! Maple syrup won it! GG's!